The Illusion soldiers have fled. Marnie and Mavi are too. Now we can head to Firinae. Yes, right away. If those ships made landfall, then my people are in danger. isn't it? Almost a shame we'll arrive in Firinae soon. I'm surprised you came with us, Sevia. You're so loyal to Papa. I figured there was no way you'd approve of this. Oh? Well, your father is my master. Lately, his orders have been... I don't see any Illusion soldiers yet. Uh, they're likely headed for the castle. We better go to Flora Port. That's the port closest to Firnay Castle. You might remember it from your first time here. Right. My first time here. I was so taken in by those beautiful rolling hills. Oh no. What's wrong? Smoke. From the northeast. That's the direction of Flora Port. Oh, they must have... No, no, no! Let's go! Flora. Why would they do this? These people aren't soldiers. Farmers live here. Families. Don't give in to despair, Alfred. For your kingdom's sake, we have to be strong. There are more Illusion warships off the coast. If any more make land, Firinae will crumble. We need to fend off the incoming vessels and then rescue as many villagers as we can. Oh dear, what a mess. Ugh, and the smell from that smoke, it's really quite horrid. Zephy. <sighs> and Vale, you too? I'm guessing this is your handiwork. No, absolutely not. We only just got here. I heard you'd be coming to Firinae and I wanted to talk. Why do you think we're here? Because we saw Elusia's army coming. Your army. The one that's burning Flora to the ground. Your Sombron's daughter. How can you not know what his forces are doing? I'm not sure. Chris, did you order this attack? Is that how you knew where to go? <sighs> Chris, tell me! Sure, I knew about the attack, but I'm not the one who gave the order. Well 
Then who did? What monster told our forces to attack a town of innocent people? Why, it was you. Wh what? The homes up in smoke. The people burning to death, crying for help, any help at all. It was your design. Your command. Mine? Ah, we finally made it. What did I miss? Forgive our lateness. There was a complication. Arnie? Mavir? Hey, Lady Vale! Hope you've had some rest after that long trip. Guess I'm a little late. But I am ready and raring to kill everyone in town, like you said! What? Why would you do such a horrible thing? Those are innocent people! Innocent? It's not like you to care about that. Oh, I get it. You switched, huh? You're the boring one. Switched? The boring... What do you mean? Someone explain this to me! <laughs> Alright, it was a chore dealing with you anyway. I'll tell you the truth. You should hear this as well, Divine One. The truth? You want to know why you're clueless? Why you can't remember ordering the attack? Because it was the other Lady Vale's doing, along with every other move we've made. The other Vale? Lord Sombron desired a fell child suitable to carry on his legacy. You disobeyed him. Failed to use your fell dragon powers. Wished for peace. <laughs> you were a defect, unworthy of your parentage. Thus, Lord Sombron gave me the power to make a few adjustments. What adjustments? What did you do to her? It was simple, really. I strengthened your draconic impulses the teensiest bit. Then you thought nothing of killing humans. You embodied Lord Sombron's will. Killing Lumera, stealing the rings, unleashing the corrupted across Elios. All you're doing. That's... That's why I kept waking up in places I didn't recognize. Yes. As your consciousness slept, the other was awake, carrying out her work. Think of it. You fighting the corrupted that you had created. <gasps> but it gets better. The fell dragon's daughter and the divine dragon became friends! <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? And pathetic. No. No, I'm sorry! You're right! I've done horrible things! The person who killed my mother and stole our rings... It was Vale, but... not... There you have it, Lady Vale. I'd say the misunderstanding has been resolved. Sephia? Riss? Marnie? Mavir? You weren't my friends! I'm alone! I've always been alone! I... Veil, it's all right, please. Let me help you. How about no? From this point on, I no longer have any need of you. Sleep now, go on. Drift off into a dream. No! 
time to wake up, Lady Vale. We do need you. I know how disappointed you would be if you were to miss the bloodshed. You're a liar! Nothing like that. <sighs> Thank you for waking me, Zephyr. I've been so looking forward to having some fun. Fetch me the ring of the Hero King. Yes, as you wish. Marth! And my hounds, prepare yourselves as well. Whatever you desire, my lady. <sighs> How exciting this is. I hope they have the endurance to at least resist a little. It's no fun if they just die. Right? Don't you agree? <laughs> you know... Seeing as how I don't share memories with that pathetic little girl, I simply had no idea you and I were friends now. I hope that you can forgive my rudeness. Your apology means nothing to me. You're not Vale. Give her back! Rest assured that I am Vale. Yes. In fact, I am Vale in her truest form. Only one of us deserves the honor of calling the great Bell Dragon her father. That honor belongs to me and me alone. My friends, it's time to fight! <laughs> 